Morales from Black Women TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Hey, good. How are you? How are you? Now, I've known you for some time, Effie. So the question is, you know, this is not within your repertoire, you know? Yeah, <laughs> How, really? you know? No. Unless you got to teach me something, what would it to say you have to take me on this project? You know, I have to say what took, uh, when I when I was able to look at this movie and I saw, and I'm, you know, I saw a woman, I saw a black woman, I saw a black woman that was able to win in the end, what was not to be a part of? And I'm a huge horror head, huge horror head. And this, and I honestly, I'll be clear, like this was the first time that I actually got invited in to do a big genre movie. Right. You know, I'm saying we oftentimes get handed certain things of like, this is your wheelhouse. And I know Shauna has a great story to talk about that when this being offered certain things. But I love the horror. I love it. I love horror. And I think that you're able to talk about a lot of things that are going on in real life, as well as in the narrative in this genre. Shauna, you know, from what I've read, this is a take a bit of your life. So what went into turning it into this type of story? What went into turning it? I mean, just the opportunity. Like Effie said, you know, I definitely was put in a spot early on in my career of stay in the YA lane. You can tell love stories. You can tell stories about marriages evaporating, you know, that kind of thing. That's where I was living in the filmmaking world. And I was getting angry as a filmmaker and I wanted to show a different side. I really wanted to work in genre. And, you know, as a survivor myself, I really wanted to create a new ending for myself. You know, that's the best thing about being a writer is you can change. You, in in my world, I get to win at the end. You know, I I defeat the patriarchy. You know, in real life, am I defeating the patriarchy? I don't think I have that power. But, you know, hopefully, you know, the message of the movie is that when women come together, maybe we have a shot. There's also a message about blind dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep that real. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Know what kind of date you're going to have, whether you're introduced to somebody or whether or not you're meeting somebody through an app, you yeah. know, it's, it's especially these days, you know, but when you're creating this, this genre, you know, there's the story and then there's the gore and, you know, mm -hmm. and if you're fans of the horror films, you know what fans want. So when you're coming up with, okay, how is this person going to go if I reveal anything, was there talk about like people always remember the death scenes, you know? Mm -hmm. So was, was there any thought about, okay, let's, up and up a notch. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we show a little body horror, you know, especially with Cherie. And there was definitely times, you know, the film can't get less scary as it goes on. It has to get progressively, progressively terrifying. And what I wanted to do as a filmmaker was not show the violence. So that was extra challenging is, you know, we, Pilou turns the camera away or I stay on a door. Um, I'm not in there. I'm usually just there for the aftermath of it. So I think we got to rely as filmmakers a lot on sound design a lot on locations, a lot as on Ella's face and her acting ability to tell the true horror of what was going on. You know, speaking of Ella, you never know when a project's going to come about. And obviously this came about before Resident Evil. So people are looking at her like she's now a screen uh -huh. queen, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so, you know, so what went into casting, you know, a Black woman in your film? <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I, I was so taken by Ella. I was so taken immediately by Ella and her range. Because the first act, she's in a romantic comedy. The second act, she's in a horror film and then she's our second she's in a thriller and then she's in a, a horror film and so what was incredible about working with effie is we had a, a very different you know version of this film at sundance and then we got the opportunity to go back into the film with effie with the black writers room and make sheree's character more authentic to the black experience while i can talk about being a survivor myself and having lived through have been ignored myself and lived through a lot of what happened on screen i don't have the lived in experience of being a black woman and that's where effie and our writers room really amplified my voice which was very generous and i think we created a stronger film for you effie you know when you take on these projects what do you hope to accomplish when you come on board mm -hmm. you know what i first of all what i hope to accomplish is being able to amplify the story and execute the vision of the director so i don't go on to many things until it's like until i can jive with that you know and that was that was this and then the other thing that like that i'm really excited about is for people to see to see this movie 
and to actually see women win and women come together. Like that's a big deal. Like, and I know it sounds like it's a, it's a big deal because we don't get to see that. I mean, I don't know how I'll say I'm a lady of a certain age, but like, if you remember back in the days, like horror films were like the black person was the first one to die. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it was a joke and a trope, but like it actually was backed up by truth. So this is something where I'm like, let's amplify and make sure that this really gets seen and loved up and like make sure that we're able to make it authentic and with integrity. And then how great is that that Amazon was able to afford us that time? Mm -hmm. And that's great. You know, you know, when you have Ella's the lead in a horror movie, the one thing you say to yourself is, well, she going to make it out. We don't know how. We don't know how. <laughs> but it, it ain't going to be good if she go out like that. <laughs> right. It'd be like this. It'd be like, yeah, exactly. This ain't dead female walking. You know? Right. Exactly. <laughs> so either way, congratulations to you both for finally getting it off the ground. I know it took some time, but we're here. It's coming out around Halloween time. Keep it going. We'll talk down the road. Thank you Thank so much. You. I'll catch you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>